Okay, we're going to talk about uh, triglycerides and how they're uh, broken down and synthesized. Um, right here, you've got the person, you know, eating bacon, which is kind of funny because I haven't had bacon in years. But uh, anyway, as you, uh, the person eats the bacon, it goes down through into the stomach, gets broken down in the stomach, and it gets to the intestine. And, and we're talking about triglycerides now. In the stomach, I'm sorry, in the intestine, the triglyceride is broken down into two monoacetylglycerol and also free fatty acids. Then, once these are broken down, they can be absorbed into the intestinal cell. Now we're getting larger and larger, as you can see. The small stomach moved to the larger intestine, and now we got these intestinal cells. And the fatty acid, it it is turned into acetyl-CoA, uh, that there, and this is done in the mitochondria, so that's what that is, the mitochondria, so don't lose the fatty acid in there. And now, if you want to take acetyl-CoA, turn it into fatty acid, the acetyl-CoA has to come out into the, the uh, cytosol of the cell, so that's where, that could easily be a question, uh, you know, that happens, uh, that uh, where does this, where do these processes happen? The uh, two monoacetylglycerol is in the intestinal cell. Um, triglycerides are synthesized again in the uh, intestinal cell, put back together. has to do with, with how things get absorbed. Now the triglyceride goes into the uh, chrylomicron. Now here we go. We've got those phospholipids with the, uh, the, uh, as or the um, fatty uh, loving tails. Um, and you've got uh, triglyceride, mainly triglyceride, some cholesterol in the center of this. This gets transported out of the intestinal cell and the chrylomicron travels through the lymph to the brachial cephalic vein and it enters the, the blood stream. Now, it depends a lot on uh, the lipoprotein lipase activity or the LPL uh, if it's going to be broke down there again. But then they get into triglycerides again and the triglycerides get uh, broken back down into two monoacetylglycerol and free fatty acids, and this is absorbed into tissues. Now, there is precursors for storage of triglycerides in the adipose tissue, the, the CoA thioesters, which come from fatty acids, and the glycerol 3-phosphate, which comes from the dihydroacetone, and this comes from the glycolysis pathway. So these are all things that have to do with uh, fatty acids and triglycerides and how they're utilized by the body and uh, how they trans are transported al along the intestinal tract and the intestinal cell and the, and the uh, bloodstream.